Come back, we were just getting to know each other. On this edition of All Heart Adventures, we're gonna find some food that you can actually eat in the forest. Something maybe with some vitamin C, maybe you're sick, you're feeling not so well, you wanna boost that immune system, let's go see if there's any vitamin C in the forest. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna follow Scott Mars and of course Jordan to see what we can find. What is this? These are rose hips. So they have the distinct rose leaves, if you're familiar with roses. And these rose hips right here are packed with vitamin C. More vitamin C than oranges. Super good for you. You can eat them raw. Um, I have eaten them seeds and all, although I have been told that the seeds have a lot of silica in them and they can irritate your intestines. So um, maybe not the best. I've never had a problem with it that I know of, but the greatest thing is making tea with this. So we'll take a bunch of these, pull the ends off, cut them up and uh, boil them into a tea. Again, powerhouse of vitamin C and uh, people have used these forever for everything from preventing scurvy to preventing illness and just maintaining general health. They come from a rose yes. bush. So this is a wild rose bush. And these it, hips okay. are these little. So in the summertime, uh, does this ever blossom? Does it have a rose on it? Or is it just part of the rose family? I don't know. Good question. <laughs> and look at this beautiful river behind us that we were just fishing on absolutely stunning that is why they call it the gray's river it has a touch of gray i guess that's a grateful dead reference but it has a touch of gray and on a clear day you can see right in the water and see all the fish this is just absolutely a beautiful incredible place to come to vacation to camp and you don't have to bring food because you got edibles yeah, like uh you got some of these what are these again, Jordan? Did you try? Juniper berries. Juniper berries. No, I've used juniper berries in roasts uh, for flavoring. Throwing them in Wait maybe a a five well, or six of them. We also have juniper berries? Yeah, right here. These are a little more raw. You want them a little darker. Let like me zoom, put that in your hand. Let me zoom in on that. Yeah, that's a juniper berry. So like a German recipe for a roast, um, sour braten. I'll put a five or six of, whoops. I'll put five or six of those in and it just adds to the flavor. And gin, I think they use this in gin as well for yes. flavoring. Mm. It's just really a nice smell to it. You don't want too many, helps set the belly. And are these are these things that the bears would come down and eat? You know? um, honestly don't know. I don't think it's a major food source for them because it's not packed with the sugar, all the calories of other berries like blueberries or raspberries. So there's not a lot of calories in there, so I don't think it's a huge thing that they're gonna eat, but they probably eat stuff like that a little bit. Incredible. Ryan has been cooking the raspberries, and what have you been making? I made some tea. We percolated it. So we used the percolator, mushed them up, stuck them inside the percolator, and then it, it all the hot water went through and soaked out all the vitamins, so supposedly full of vitamins so this is the end result mixed with a little bit of vitamin water and I put sugar in ours so it tastes good and uh, Jordan's does not have any sugar so we'll see what happens to him and technically we're pretty much just trusting Jordan yeah who knows what's gonna happen everything tastes better with sugar yeah a spoonful of sugar helps the right. medicine go down fellas Tea time. That's a citrusy smell. It's well, citrus in the cars. Yours has sugar. Mine has sugar. Dylan's has sugar. Ryan's has sugar. Jordan's is straight up. Straight up now, tell me. I roller skated the heck out of that song. Mine 
been sweetened. That tastes like it. <laughs> Really good. Good. What do you think? Lemon, really lemon good. vitamin water in there too. Ooh, that's Dylan, really? yeah, that's what I'm tasting. Dylan, how's your tea? Fantastic. It's actually really good. My job in life, with the heart, is to live vicariously through other people who take a lot of risks. That's what I'm here. I'm I'm Paul Stunt Double. <laughs> <laughs> you look just like him. Wow. So on this adventure, it was short and sweet, but we found some edibles. Uh, you know, not raspberries, not strawberries, not snozberries, but we found some roseberries right here with Jordan. And Scott found juniper berries, juniper berries for his German roast yes. as a descendant of Germans. Straight up now, town.